What's going on guys? So in front of me, again, is an incredible unit. If you saw the interior tour of this in the last video, you probably know why, at least you know why from an interior perspective. But the exterior of this thing is absolutely amazing as well. And I would probably say more impressive uh, from you know a conventional RV perspective than anything else out there on the market. It's, it's pretty dang amazing. So this video, we're gonna take a look at the outside because you know we spent like 30 minutes on the inside of this thing last time and I didn't wanna make that video too long. So this video is gonna go over the outside. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so we already went over the numbers on this unit at the beginning of the first half of this video. So definitely go back and check that video out if you wanna see what the numbers look like and what the interior of this thing's all about. This video is gonna focus on the exterior, which I know a lot of people typically with RV reviews, like whenever I go through you know, your typical fifth wheel or travel trailer, they kind of fast forward to the interior because they wanna check that out. A lot of cool stuff going on inside of this, but you know, really the, the magic behind this unit is the construction and the exterior. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. All right, so starting up front, you got this really cool all aluminum storage. Pretty much this entire unit is constructed out of aluminum and composites. You know, the side walls are essentially these one piece foam side walls that are, I don't even know if it's really foam, but it's a very, very dense material that makes the side walls very, very insulated while at the same time, almost impenetrable. Uh, over in Elkhart, whenever they first displayed these at the dealer show, you know, we hit these things with a sledgehammer like all day long and there was really no damage to it. So there's a lot to be said about the side walls. Um, before I go any further too, I definitely wanna say the reason why I know quite a bit about these units isn't just because of the Elkhart show. I gotta give a big shout out to the folks over at ROA Off-Road or RVs of America. Um, they actually invited me up to Utah where I had a chance to see this specific unit, this exact unit, as well as another paused unit up there. And they sell these at their South Carolina dealership location. So they have two locations, one in Utah and one over in South Carolina. And their South Carolina location actually carries this model and and all of the uh, the different floor plans that they're producing and will produce. So very, very cool. This specific unit, even though it's brand new, uh, the folks at ROA actually prototyped this thing, took it out and really, really subjected it to some crazy off-road conditions. And we'll talk about some of the things that they installed to help them get through those conditions out in Moab and some of the other areas they took it. First of all, you see kind of the dirt buildup up here. This is because when it was being delivered here, the driver actually went through a snowstorm and there was like eight inches of snow stuck to the facade of this thing. So this thing's already experienced use by the folks at ROA Off-Road and by the, the guy actually that drove it down here on its Goodyear Wrangler tires. Anyways, we're gonna start right around here, kind of work our way around. You have your storage compartment up front on this side where you have the uh, vehicle side of your coupler, which is the McHitch, which we'll talk about in a second. I made a full video comparing the McHitch, which was installed by the folks at ROA Off-Road uh, and why you might want that over this hitch or might, why you may want this hitch over that hitch. So check that video out, but they have the McHitch installed on it right now. You have your power front tongue jack, which is also part of the automatic leveling system that is installed on this by the folks from Palomino. Up front here, you have your Mick hitch, which is an Australian designed hitch. This thing is a fully articulating hitch forward and backward and side to side. Uh, that's the difference between it and the typical hitch which comes on here, which supports a two and five sixteenths inch ball, which is a traditional ball a lot of people might use, but it does articulate side to side, not forward and back like this one does. So this is certainly an upgrade. And the hitching and decoupling process is so freaking quick and easy with this thing. This is absolutely awesome. But for me, I would probably stick with the standard two and five sixteenths inch coupler, mainly because I already have a hitch for it. All right, coming around this side, first thing you can see, this has a full aluminum frame. Almost every Everything on the outside of this unit is aluminum. So they've done a really, really good job with that. I believe they said this component right here up front is PVC up there as well. I could be wrong, but I believe they said that because I don't think that's aluminum. Looking in this side, you have your two 30 pound propane cans up here. You have some storage up here as well for logs or really anything you want to strap up here. You don't really need a generator because of all the battery that's on board, but if you did want to carry a generator, you might want to put it up here as well. Really nice high-end locking latches on everything. Coming around this way, you have your kitchen, which is currently in its extended position. So there's a couple things you have to do whenever you get this. The first thing is, is if you want to set up your sink, you have to actually pull your sink out and 
put it in these grooves right here. This whole piece right here actually comes out, collapses, and then you store it over here. And then this simply falls into place. You have a little gravity drain here as well. So your sink water can kind of drain into a bucket or onto the ground if it's just, you know, clean water. Over here you have your griddle and it's a huge gray stone griddle. So you have a grill on this side, griddle on this side. You can easily cook a large meal, large breakfast, whatever you want. You have your oil catch here. Uh, this is your little prep area, but you flip this up, you flip it over and out and there's another prep area right here. You have your Truma refrigerator freezer complete with the ability to kind of move around a divider so you can make more space for your freezer or more space for your fridge if you'd like to. And Truma is a very, very high quality appliance. This is not the cheap stuff. This is definitely what you go to if you want higher end, higher dollar equipment. And that is included with this unit. You have your lighting on the side. You have more lighting on the side over here. You have this really cool little outside sprayer area where you would actually have your sprayer so you could, you know, have your faucet and, and wash your hands off or prep your food, whatever you'd like to do. Nice little storage area right here. And then you have really, really thick baggage doors. They hold up in place with magnets. And then you open that up, lock it shut when you're done. This also closes up. Inside of here, you can see you have an air compressor. And this is for your suspension system, as well as if you just need to air stuff up. So that's really cool. Down here, you have your LP Quick Connect, and this is what you're gonna use to connect to your stove over here. So it kind of routes around so you can connect directly over here. And your LP line goes around the inside to a connector over there, and then you simply plug it into the side. There are no wires or anything that are routed into these walls, mainly because of how these walls are constructed. You really can't route anything through them. So everything is routed through passages that had to have been added. You have a large uh, armless or legless awning right here. It's an electric awning with LED light strip underneath it, acrylic dual pane windows. You have some real rock sliders heavy duty thick steel very nice um, if you don't use them to slide on rocks they're definitely going to knock away shrubs and bushes and things like that but that might normally contact the side of your rv nice door that is also friction hinged and this has to be probably one of the strongest friction hinge doors i've seen this has the rv lock on it as well plus a really nice dark out plus screen window for the door itself i can close that actually keep the bugs out You have your Moride step above steps. Over here, you have your air compressor connection for the outside, as well as your Moride independent suspension. This is an air suspension system. So it's got airbags on each tire location or wheel location. Plus it has dual Bilstein shocks on each location as well. And again, this is a full air ride suspension with, get this, 15 inches of air travel. I can raise this suspension up so this fender right here would be 15 inches higher than it currently is, which is crazy. And when we get to the back of this unit, you'll, you'll just kind of see how extreme that can make this if you need that type of articulation or that type of movement for some reason. Now, the other thing that this air suspension can do for you is it can help you level your trailer with your truck. So let's say you have a truck that's lifted and when you traditionally hitch up to a trailer like this you need an extremely you know deep dropping drop hitch so you can be able to support it well this you can actually raise the suspension up so you can level it with your truck which is pretty cool you definitely want to be careful with that because you're also raising the center of gravity but at the same time it's nice if you maybe need two or three more inches of clearance that makes it a little bit more accessible for some of these more off-road vehicles Really cool table right here. Um, I learned a couple things about it. I thought it would have like a strut or it'd have like a cable stop to keep it from dropping all the way down. But you actually have these little flaps right here that slide out completely, they come off. And there's one on the other side, that's why it's not dropping down. So you just lift it up, you put it in place and it kind of rests against this trim on the side. But this is your side table. I kind of call this the food truck because you have this giant window above it that you can open up and then you'll have your awning as well as this window and you can pass food out to folks who are out here maybe eating which is really cool especially if you're at the beach or you're next to a lake things like that you don't have to constantly walk in and out of the rv to get food to the people who are outside you have a cable connection right here you have a 110 outlet right here 
you want to bring the TV outside or you want to watch TV outside. These fenders stick out far enough and they're flat enough that you can absolutely use them for kind of like a storage shelf or a shelf if you're going to have outside. You want to dry your, your shoes off out here. Um, just really nice, really functional, really well designed um, fenders as well as Goodyear Wrangler tires. So you got a good quality off-road tire on here. Coming around this way, you have your Fogati uh, water heater. This is an on-demand tankless water heater, which is really nice. Plus you have a cool little track system out here. And this emulates the track system on the inside above the door. So if you wanna take the little hanging hooks off, you can bring them out here, you can hang them right here, and you can hang up clothes to dry, boots, shoes, things like that, which is really, really nice. Swimming trunks, you know, just about anything. If you have a helmet, maybe you've been mountain biking and you wanna hang a helmet up so it can air dry. Good spot, keeps it off of the ground, or maybe even your trash bags. Maybe you have trash bags that you want to keep off of the ground so you know they're not easily accessible to, to certain creatures. You have your shackles on the back, which tie into the frame. So this gives you the ability to kind of yank this thing out if it's stuck, if you've gotten it into a position where you need recovery. That's what those are there for. You have auto leveling on this as well. So it'll auto level front to back, side to side. It uses the air suspension as well as the leveling jacks and it's all controllable through your Garmin tablet, which controls everything. Your awning, your lights, all of that stuff, which is really nice. Coming around back, you have two spare tires, both Goodyear Wranglers that swing out. And then you have this staircase that flips down to take you into the back closet. But before we look at that, check out this bumper. This is the type of bumper that you would want on your pickup truck. Very, very well produced, looks absolutely gorgeous, and it, it honestly is automotive quality. LED lights integrated into it as well. You have this huge door back here, which is also on a friction hinge, and you have some really nice moride steps. You climb up. When you get to the top, you're about four feet off the ground. So imagine if you raise this thing up 15 inches from where it currently sits, you're, <laughs> you're another foot or more higher than where you're currently at right now, which if you're in bear country and you want to try to escape a bear by climbing up a tree, you don't really have to do that, right? You can just raise the suspension on this thing. You have two more bar stools. Now, when I did the interior tour in the last video, I only saw two of them that were underneath the bed. And I said, man, it'd be great if you had two more bar stools. Maybe they should include them. Maybe they should, you know, put them somewhere. Well, they had them in here. They're in the back. So you could seat four people on the inside, not just two like I originally thought. So I guess this is kind of a correction to the first video. Very, very cool. You have your solar panels in here as well as check this out. Battleborn batteries. Lots of them. Right, you gotta have like a thousand amp hours worth of battery capacity, I think. I think it's around a thousand amp hours. Look at this, all Victron. Inverters, charge controllers, everything, Victron. Why is that significant? Well, it's significant to people who are in the know when it comes to who makes the premium battery charger inverter setups for RVs or really any scenario. Victron is the premium. It's considered the best of the best. Um, I think it's probably right up there with like Red Arc. It's, it's definitely a premium quality product. And for most RVs, which typically have lower end systems in it, this right here, is like a $10,000 difference versus what could have been in here. And what could have been in here wouldn't have been cheap either. If you would have gone with like GoPower or you would have gone with like Renogy, you're still probably with a setup similar to this with, with their brands, you're still probably talking over $10,000. So what you see here is about $20,000 plus worth of equipment. So whenever you look at the price of a unit like this and you're, you get that sticker shock, keep in mind a high percentage of it is going to this type of stuff super high-end, super premium, that if you added this to your fifth wheel, you'd probably be putting upwards of 20, 25 grand into your fifth wheel. Not even kidding you. This right here, and you'll see in the comment section, this right here is a huge reason why the overall price of this unit is where it is. When you get this level of quality and technology inside of an RV. This is the stuff people say should be included. When you watch videos where people add stuff to their RV, and they put equipment, even on my video, they're like, you should have gone Victron, you should have done this. Well, they went Victron and that in itself, meeting that criteria that a lot of people expect whenever they look at RVs, meeting that criteria comes at a price. And the price on this unit definitely goes up because of that. This is cool, this is a boot holder, right? You put your boots upside down on here so they can drain out, that's super cool. You got another track system in here as well for those cool little hanging brackets. If you have a coat, things like that, that you wanna dry out, plus a cool little vent that you can open up to allow air circulation. 
All right, stepping down. I know a lot of people are gonna say, I wanna see what the solar looks like on this. And I have a very interesting way of showing you that. 110 outlet here. You also have, that's your GFCI outlet. And then you also have a 12 volt outlet over there, which is really convenient. So that's cool. Let's take a look at the suspension from the back. Well, it's a little hard to see because you have your sewer hose holder right there. But if you go a little lower, you can see it. Check that out. That is absolutely insane how they've designed this suspension. It does have drum brakes on it. I don't know if disc brakes are an option or if you really need them on something like this, but what's currently on it is a drum brake. Looks like I need to put the uh, sewer hose cap back on, on this side. And under here, I don't know what that is. Okay, so that's a pass-through location. It only has one on this side, and you'll kind of see why here in a second. So when you swing this tire out, you actually have this cool little tray that opens up into a countertop space. So a really nice little area if you're gonna be rigging up your fishing lines, things like that, or you're just working on your RV or you're doing something back here and maybe you have a lake back here and you wanna be able to see it because you're backed up to it. Nice little place to do some work. You have your traction pads up here as well. If you get stuck and you need something to lay under your tire so you get extra traction, those are already included with this unit. You have cameras that go all the way around this unit with the capability of using them while you're driving from the, the display that they give you for your vehicle as well as using them as a security camera system from the inside of your RV if you're camping. So that is really cool. Coming around this way. Now one thing, you see these little paws cutouts. I don't know if those are used for anything. You may be able to use those to hold things, to strap things down. I'm not sure. You know, if you're in a really, really bad environment where the wind is just blasting the side of your RV and you want to put like stake, you know, holds into the ground to keep the thing from tipping, you may be able to tie off to those. I don't know for sure. Don't do it without checking, but you could probably tie off to your rock sliders as well. Again, Goodyear Wrangler spare tire, massive little swing arms for you to swing those out. You have a Nautilus panel, something you'd typically see in like a fifth wheel. So really nice, sealed off really nicely. You have a pass through right here, which goes out the bottom here as well. So that's how you get your, your hose into this unit to connect. So it's nice and clean. You got your shower sprayer right here, which this actually goes up front. So I'll probably carry that with me and put that up there in a second so I can put it at the sink. Really, really thick baggage doors that all lock. Another one here, this is really cool because this is how you access your Seaflow, really, really high-end brand uh, water pump. You have a water filtration system up here as well. And this is just the basin for your shower. So it's a great place to service stuff and to get to things if you need to service things. And you can see all aluminum framed. Very nice. You have your gray and black tank outlets. So you can connect your sewer right there or sorry, connect your sewer right here, and then that's how you drain it. That's just the other side of your hose holder. Cool little pause mud flaps. You have your ladder to take you all the way onto the roof. Then you have your side view cameras as well, part of that camera system I talked about. The other side of your suspension. Again, this is a Moride custom suspension for these units. Utilizes airbags and Bilstein shocks. That is absolutely crazy. This has a 30 amp connection, mainly because it's only a single AC unit, and it's a very high efficiency Truma AC unit, which is just crazy that they even use that. Has your furnace right there. Another air truck connection here, so you can air up your tires, air up your recovery vehicle, your tow vehicle, whatever you need to using the onboard air compressor. Solar connections right here. Again, your uh, acrylic dual pane windows, and these are actually US manufactured windows. Well, at least that's what I was told. It's Garmin on board, which essentially controls everything, like I said. Now, this looks like it's this huge storage, but in reality, this is just the tray for your kitchen whenever it comes in. And whenever you slide that in, that tray at the very end is what you would put any supplies on this side into. So you really wouldn't be able to access it that well if you have a lot of stuff in there from the other side. You'd want to have the tray in so you can access it when it's closed. And then, again, really nice latches for everything super cool again auto leveling on this unit and everything's controllable through that garmin device again if you didn't take a look at the inside of this unit go back and watch that video but before we end this video i want to show you the solar and i'm going to do it in a very interesting way okay so i am on top of the uh, upper deck of the garage 
to show you this insane solar setup on this pause. Check this out. So it's got 600 watt panels, I'm guessing. That's crazy. If you look, they've pretty much used every conceivable area that they could fit solar on top of this unit. I suppose they probably could have put one more panel back there, but then it wouldn't give you any room to actually walk on to get around stuff. So they left you just a big enough space in between panels for your feet so you can actually move around on this thing. But check that out. When we talk about solar and we talk about equipment, we talk about what you can go with, this is really unheard of from your typical manufacturer out of Indiana. You don't see this. There are some brands that might have two panels, maybe three panels, maybe four panels. If you're lucky and it's a super, super high-end brand, but you don't see six panels. You don't see this much solar, especially on a unit that's front to back 25 feet long. You know, the house itself, a little over 20 feet long, roughly. So that is absolutely insane. And they've done it in a great way. It's recessed into that trim all the way around. So it's not gonna negatively impact it as much aerodynamically. Very, very cool. They've just, again, blown me away with what they've done with this unit because you just don't see this. You really don't. And the quality and craftsmanship that's gone into this thing is, is far and above what you typically see coming out of Indiana. And there's a lot to be said about a major brand, a major well-known brand like Palomino creating Paws product to the standards that they have. Absolutely cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about this unit now that we've had a longer opportunity to give you a greater deep dive into what this thing's all about. And I've probably missed 100 plus little tiny nuggets that really make this thing stand out even in a greater way. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you like the channel and the content that I put out. I really appreciate it. Again, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.